Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to another episode of the Match Day Live series on FIFA 21. Today, Arsenal are travelling up north to Sheffield to take on Sheffield United at Bramall Lane. The last time these two sides met in the Premier League, I believe Arsenal got the win. Two goals to one, I think it was. Um, Saka and Nicolas Pepe, I think, got the goals, both in the second half. Um, as we know, Sheffield United not had a great season in the Premier League. And you could pretty much say that they are going to be relegated already. They've only got 14 points for the whole season. So this should be an easy win for Arsenal. But Arsenal being Arsenal, the Premier League being the Premier League, you can never really guarantee the three points here for Arsenal. But as I said, we're a little bit more in form than Sheffield United, I believe. Um, Sheffield United lost their last three in the league. Uh, only winning one of the last five in total. Um, Arsenal themselves did lose their last game and they've only got two wins in the last five but only lost one in the last five. So a little bit more um, form there for the Gunners. Can we get the three points today? We should do. We should do pretty convincingly as well. It's going to be interesting. Um, the starting eleven, which Mikel Arteta decides to go with. I, I believe there's a couple of um, doubts on a couple of the players holding on to a few knocks and injuries. So... We'll wait and see what team Arteta goes with. I believe it is an evening game on a Sunday, which is um, a little bit um, different. Don't usually have evening games on a Sunday night, but it is what it is. It is the Easter holidays, of course, and there's a great goal there for Sheffield United. A good start so far in this game on FIFA 21. Both sides finding the back of the net early on. Obviously, Arsenal not having the best of seasons themselves. Not as bad as Sheffield United, but... Um, 11th place before the rest of today's kickoffs. Um, so we really need the three points today. If we do win today, that can see us go back into the top 10, into 9th place above Aston Villa and Leeds United. I don't know if you saw the results from yesterday, but Leeds United did get the victory against the top spot team, Manchester City. Um, so good result there for Leeds. Uh, but of course, we need to get the win today and we'll go back above Leeds United into that top um, 10 position. Uh, but good ball there from Aubameyang and Arsenal. Back in front here, two goals to one. Martin Odegaard this time getting himself on the score sheet. Good attack and play, straight for a kickoff. And Arsenal looking much, much better. We need to get another one though, because as I said, anything can happen in the Premier League, especially with the performances of Arsenal. Our shocking defenders, of course, the terrible midfield, and then just the lack of creativity going forward, even with Odegaard coming in from Real Madrid. He has been a little bit of light for Arsenal, but we are still um, conceding goals for fun, and it's pretty embarrassing. Um, and there we go. Talk about embarrassing defending. There is Rob Holding giving away a penalty kick, 20 minutes gone, and a chance for Sheffield United to score another. And it will level things up, of course. Yeah, clear penalty there. Didn't touch the ball at all. Went straight through the defender's legs. And here we go then. 21 minutes on the clock. A chance for the fourth goal of the game already. Oh, he's missed the target completely. The goalkeeper dived the right way. But well, look at this, he got too much underneath that. Over the crossbar it goes. Thankfully for Arsenal, the score does remain two goals to one to the away team. And let's try and expand on that. We want more goals. We want to put in a convincing performance going into the final few games of the season. That's a great cross, but the defender was there first. Cleared away, but Arsenal are going to pick up the loose ball. They are indeed. Pepe forward to Odegaard. Odegaard for a bomb. Yang, he tries to chip it over the goalkeeper. But not enough height on it, not enough power, and easily read there by the Sheffield United goalie. So, moving on into this game, and just a couple of minutes remaining in this first period. Still Arsenal holding on to a narrow 2-1 lead. Still looking for this third goal. Get the third, and you could pretty much write Sheffield United off any kind of comeback. That's a great little through ball. Nicolas Pepe this time, cuts it back to Odegaard, hits it. Oh, it's fumbled into the back of the net. I think the goalkeeper did get to it, but somehow went straight through him and then in off the defender, did it? Oh, it actually hit the defender and bounced in. So there it is going to be an OG. And unlucky there for Sheffield United, but the perfect time to score for Arsenal. Three goals to one just before the half-time interval. And now we head into the final 15 minutes. Arsenal looking for a fourth. 
Good defensive work there by Sheffield United. Cleared forward. Oh, look at the space here on this near side. Is that Rob Holding coming across? Is the cross going to come in here from McGoldrick? Was it McGoldrick who got the first goal for Sheffield United? I can't remember actually who scored their goal. Uh, but United looking good here. Needs to play across the middle, which he does. And there is a second goal of the game for Sheffield United. And maybe a glimmer of hope for them to get something out of this game. They've still got one more goal to get, of course, to tie things up. A score is three goals to two. And there is Billy Sharp then scoring for the home team. Seven minutes remaining as we pushed on. We're into the final two and a half minutes. Arsenal still in front by three goals to two. Sheffield United though are in possession. They're still looking for a late equaliser. Good play there from Thomas Partey. Stealing it. Plays it through for a bomb yank. He's got space in front of him. He's going all the way through. Hits it across the keeper. And there it is. That is the job done boys. Four goals to two. A fantastic game here at Bramall Lane on the Sunday evening fixture. Uh, good performance all round. Should have done better in the defensive duties though, Arsenal. But that's the story of our season, isn't it? We could obviously uh, conceded that third goal by that penalty kick. Uh, but thankfully, he did miss the target completely. But there is Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang getting himself another goal for Arsenal this season. And obviously, it does wrap up the three points, four goals to two. So, as always, guys, as we come towards the end of today's episode, leave a like on today's episode if you did enjoy it. Leave your score predictions in the comments section below as well. There is the final whistle, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.